Hey Cancer, Mariah here. I'm going to go ahead and get into your love reading for the month of October. So let's see what's going on with you guys. If the reading resonates, go ahead, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You don't have to, but it definitely allows your energy to be a part of the collective here. And I'll be enough, as a Cancer, I really don't have a large cancer, a cancer following. I don't have a lot of you guys that watch my channel. Don't know why, but hey. The ones that are here, I'm very thankful, so thank you. So tell me, Spirit, what do our Kansas need to know for the month of October? We have addictions, physically, excuse me, so sorry, physical addictions, emotionally addictive thoughts, or other negative patterns of behaviors are affecting this connection. Lessons of Neptune, denial, illusion, and deception of self or by another, Love, boundaries, and detachment are important. Are important, excuse me. Bottom of the deck is stalemate. A stalemate situation. Someone needs to take decisive action. Okay. So this feels like this goes a couple of ways, Cancer. Either your love life itself has been in a stalemate energy, with things haven't been moving or progressing forward. It feels like, though, there's still something lingering, though, in, in your mind in regards to a connection, relationship, situationship. I don't know. You tell me, right? Whether you're with this person or not, whether you're on the stance of I don't want to go back to whoever or I would like to give it a chance, it does not matter. At the end of the day, there's still thoughts that haven't been fully erased in regards to a past connection or a connection in general or just even in regards to... Um, talk towards yourself because we have this self-deception with lessons of Neptune, right? Feeling like you're not going to find that person or your li your love life has been at a stalemate for so long, you know, or for however long it may have been, you know, when is that person coming or that person may not come. Maybe I'm just, you know, at this point destined to be single. Maybe I'm just destined not to have my soulmate or the one that's meant for me, right? So there's some negative energy in regards to your love life that's being carried out as of currently in October. So what I am going to do here for you, Cancer, is do a wellness check, right? Let's look and see how you are feeling in regards to your to your love life. How is our Cancers feeling in regards to their love life? How are they doing in general? How are Cancers feeling? If I can shuffle, geez. <laughs> how our, if I can speak too, how, our, how are our Cancers feeling? <laughs> I don't know why my speech is off today, man. Jeez. How are our cancers feeling in regards to that? Look like that was it. Can you tell? Thank you. Death in the reverse. Actually, let me move it a little closer so you can see. So we're starting off with the death in the reverse. Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords. There's some form of struck energy. Something is not changing. Nothing changes if nothing changes, but what needs to change that's not changing? That's what you want to know. Moon. Even though it's Piscean energy, I always consider it Cancer energy as well just because Cancer rules the moon. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's some form of codependency, which goes back to addiction. So it's just confirming the cards and the energy here. Where are our thoughts being placed? What's not changing? What thoughts are we not letting go? You know what this feels like, Cancer? We got the Queen of Swords here. It feels like until some form of communication happens. Mind you, not saying that you're wanting to reach out to a person some of you may be wanting to but not saying that it's that's your motivating force right but it feels like right next to the moon you want to if you could at least have some understanding of what's happening or what has happened or what's going on in your love life even if you're completely single as a pringle why am i single or why have i been single for this long why have i been in this stuck stalemate energy in my love life what is happening? You want some form of truth or clarity in regards to a situation, person, or thing, right? Why is my love life not moving? Or if you are still psychologically or mentally trapped or feeling trapped or just still having thoughts of somebody or a situation that may have ended, but you, your energy still feels stuck or tied to them, there's the sense of wanting to know, well, why? 
how, what happened, why didn't things progress, why are things at a stalemate, wanting to know the full truth. There's illusion, there's illusion here with this moon. There's some lack of clarity. So whether you're single as Pringle, wanting to know why your love life is just stuck, or wanting to know something in regards to a situation, that's the energy that you're in. So I want to see who's coming towards my cancers. Who's coming towards our cancers? And thank you. We have the King of Swords. Some of you may be dealing with the Scorpio because we had the King and Queen of Swords as appear in the Scorpio reading. So you may want to check that out. So we got the King of Swords. This is somebody who is an intellectual. This is somebody who can be a little. I just heard the word cunning. Four of Pentacles. Four of Cups in the reverse. Four Pentacles in reverse, I should say, by the way. Four of Cups in the reverse. Five of Cups in reverse. Again, Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So there is some form of codependence in regards to their energy as well. If this is somebody completely new, they may have an, a habit without really showing it on the surface of becoming codependent to a person that they're dealing with romantically. If this is somebody that you know of or that you have in mind right now, Cancer... This is somebody that's still codependent upon your energy. Maybe even your resources, finances, situation, I don't know. But there's still some form of tie here that they have for you that you also still have for them. But more than that, this is somebody that is behaving a bit cold and detached and distant. Somebody that is not really showing their hand or showing what's behind the veil. But also, too, this could have been somebody who let the situation go because the four pinnacles in reverse is right underneath the five of cups in the upright. This is somebody that could have let you go or let the situation go and they have regrets and remorse about it. You know, absolutely having regrets and remorse, remorse about it. But also on the flip side, they're wanting to open up to a certain degree. Don't get the, don't get it twisted here. The emotional aspect or if that's what you're wanting is not present, of course. But this four of cups is the initiation of opening up, right? Here, I'll give you a little bit. I'll, I'll offer a little bit to you. Now, for some of you, that may not be good enough. But that's kind of the person that you're dealing with. Somebody who, again, may have released this connection, but now is wanting to open up. This is somebody, though, that is still cold or can be detached or can be very vague in their communication. So I want to look even further into this for you, Cancer. So what I am going to do here is see your perspective or feelings that you have towards this person or energy. So I'm moving these over here. So for Cancer, can you tell me their perspective or feelings they have towards this person coming towards them in the month of October? We have the star, eight of pentacles in reverse. And the temperance. Let me grab one more. Ace of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords in the reverse. So, Cancer, you may feel like this person is watching you or making assumptions about you because the Page of Swords in the reverse always gives me the assumptions energy, right? They may have made assumptions about you and that was the reason for letting you go or not really working on this connection because we got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse along with the uh, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So whatever assumptions they may have made towards you or about you or about the connection may have been their version of the reason as to why they wanted to let this go or whatever assumptions they had in their mind was their, if you will, their scapegoat to get out of this or not put in the effort or put in the work for this towards this connection. But your perspective and feelings towards this person, I think you do have some form of hope to try and work out things with this person and starting a temperance here. You would like to balance things out. You would like to heal things out. You Even for some of you, small portion, maybe you may still feel like this is the one. Unfortunately, as unfortunate as it is, because I do see a stalemate energy, you may feel like this is the one, but you know, you may have felt like they didn't truly work on this or they didn't put any effort, any real effort that could allow for a sustaining relationship or connection 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years down the line. They only gave you a little bit and called it a day. They didn't want to put in the actual hard work to develop something here with you. If this is a new person, right, you may be that cancer that's just so tired of your love life being in a stalemate. And I feel like with whoever this is, this is somebody that is tempered, 
Uh, they have composure, balanced, if you will. You may have hope or you may see this person as the one, right? You may see this person as different or unique, absolutely. But a part of you as well with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles, there's this sense of this person may not put in the work that you truly need to have a, sus a sustaining relationship. There's some, I don't know, even though we don't have any cards here that speaks about doubt, but there's the energy of doubt. Even if it's only subtle for you, Cancer, it doesn't have to be a large factor here. But even if it's on the most subtle, mundane level, there's a form of doubt here that this person is willing to actually put in the full effort of work here. So I want to look into your person a little more. So I'm going to put these over here. And what I want to do is see their perspective and feelings towards you. So for my Cancers, the person that's coming towards them or that they're dealing with, their perspective and feelings tend to pinnacles in reverse. Interesting that we thank you, geez. And next for all those, but the tower. Seven of Wands. Double. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Interesting. So if you know this person, and this is their perspective, doesn't mean it's their, you know, your truth. It doesn't mean that it's the reality of the situation. But again, we have to keep in mind their perspective and their perspective could absolutely be distorted cancer so before y'all start attacking me in the comments for what i'm feeling here please just keep that in mind we have the ten of pentacles next to the tower so your person if this is somebody you know or dealt with they just felt like this was toxic whether it's their behaviors or your behaviors cancer and this this had to come to an end. Ten of Swords, excuse me, Ten of Wands in reverse of the Tower in the upright. This this came to an end. They felt like it came to an end. Just it needed to be released. It needed to be dropped. I don't feel like this person felt in a most in in a genuine way that they could have the Ten of Pentacles with you. Maybe they had the Ten of Pentacles elsewhere. And if that wasn't the case, they just didn't feel like they could have it with you. And that's why they couldn't really give or dedicate themselves to the situation. They felt like whatever in their own perceptive mind, they can give that to you. They may feel like you're defensive. They may feel like you're guarded or they may feel like they have to raise their defenses towards you or towards the situation. I will say bottom of the deck, their distortion, excuse me, their perception is distorted with this King of Wands in the reverse because they're coming from an ego based or a pride based uh, perspective. So it's not a balanced perspective when it comes to how they feel about you or how they're viewing you. But they they do feel like they or have felt like they had to release this. Now, I will say this on the flip side, if this is somebody that's new. I feel like this is somebody that you shot into their life out of the blue. It feels like this person may have came from something very toxic and burdensome that they ended. It feels like they may have recently ended out of something. I don't think they were looking for anything. I don't think they were looking necessarily for love. But it's like you popped out like a bat out of hell. Almost, if you will, in a weird way, like a saving grace. Even though we don't really have temperance here on their side, it's on your side. But I'm just getting that energy. But they also can feel like you're a bit defensive or guarded when it comes to love. Which that's kind of a protective me uh, mechanism us cancers have. They do. They may feel like you're a little guarded or protective when it comes to love. But I feel like this was somebody that really wasn't looking for love and ended up running into you. Now, we'll see if the love feelings have developed if this is a new person. But more than likely, this is probably somebody that you already know, Cancer. So what is the obstacle here? Okay, I'm not taking all those. That's a lot. What is the obstacle here? Two of Swords, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you definitely could be dealing with the Scorpio. Because this card in the same position came up with Scorpio. The bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords in reverse. Getting on the same page. Somebody's not willing to cooperate. Cancer, if this is somebody that you've known in the past, they're not willing because this is a very heavy energy of defensiveness on their end. They're not willing to cooperate with you. They may feel like you may still be angry. Again, this is their perspective. Doesn't mean that it's 
the reality of the situation, but they may feel like you're still angry or pissed off at them. Upset. You know, somebody's not making a decision. Somebody's not making a choice, which again, we have that stalemate. It's a stalemate situation. Someone needs to take decisive action. This confirms that somebody's not doing that. Why? Well, somebody feels like, and it feels like possibly a person, you could switch a male or female, but somebody feels like the other person is very guarded or defensive or, you know, angry or upset. So they're not really keen on bringing things forward. Now, Ten of Wands, excuse me, Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. There, I feel like to a degree, either you or this person, there is a part that would like to revive the situation. But with the Ten of Swords in the reverse, it's just an overkill of whatever happened between you two. And whatever happened between you two, it's just an overkill. And it's like, we can't do this anymore. And you can absolutely switch sides and take whichever side fits. But somebody definitely feels like it's an overkill. So what is the possible outcome between these two? Oh, way too many. What is the possible outcome between these two, Spirit? Between, thank you, we got the King of Cups. Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles, Hangman in the reverse. So somebody gains clarity and in a, in a deeper understanding of the situation. I feel like there's been so much trickery here, though, with the Seven of Swords in reverse. You can't unsee what you've already saw. You cannot unsee what you've already saw, Cancer with this person or whether this is your person feeling like that with you because they're in this heavily defensive energy so again you switch the roles as it fits but that's one thing I that punchline there I can't get that out of my head right now you can't unsee what you already saw so somebody's here they're going to remain defensive and guarded I think there's still a lot of emotions that are felt towards this connection but I think somebody is going to keep their feelings close to their chest and the other person is going to continue to work on their finances and their stability in their life. Because again, you can't unsee what you saw. There's too much water under the bridge. Somebody is still in a defensive energy. The other person feels like the other one is still angry, upset. So it's keeping the situation at a stalemate. It's not progressing forward. So I want to get some advice here. For my cancers. What do they need to know? Composure. Yep. Earth and grounding. Bottom of the deck is do the work. So somebody needs to do the work on... And this both of you, if I'm being honest, cancer. I'm just going to be flat on lines. Both of y'all got to do the work. And I say that because if you are still in this energy or if you're in any energy of still holding on or still feeling whatever may have happened to you, you make sure you, you know, you do the healing or go to a therapist or psychologist to make sure you really release that energy, whatever works for you, an energy healer, a Reiki master, whatever works for you. But advice here is composure in earth and ground, you know, not allowing and I know this is easier said than done. And as a cancer myself, we're very emotional. We're swayed by emotions. Depending on what's in the rest of your chart, some are more swayed than others. You know, that's why you have cancers that operate differently than one another. But I would tell you, in this situation, whether this is a new person or an old person, whatever the case may be, don't allow this to move your disposition. Don't allow this to move you from where you stand. Don't allow your composure to be affected now again you may feel it on the internal plane but externally you know keep your composure keep your ground you know and and stand your ground with how you feel right if you feel like you can't give to this then don't give to this if it feels like you know you want new love and you want to this new love that's coming towards you isn't for you then you know stand that ground but keep your composure while doing so don't allow any emotional displays don't allow those emotional displays that we can tend to put on come to surface, you know. And earth and ground, balancing yourself, getting grounded, grounding your energy. And that goes back to composure. They both go hand and foot. And that needs to be done, especially if you're still dealing with any past baggage or wounding from prior relationships, Cancer. So I'm going to leave it here.
Hopefully this has been insightful. I wish I had a better reading for you guys. I'm sorry. But, you know, I always give you an honest one. That's for sure. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> Don't really care. Sorry. <laughs> Love you guys to pieces. And I'll catch you on the next reading. Bye.